back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Barbie and ColourPop collaboration and showing you how I did my makeup using it. I love everything in this collection and I'm so excited to show you guys how I used it. Also, this robe is from Honeydew. Thank you for sending me this. It's so cute and make sure to check out the link in my bio to purchase all the products I used. Let's get on into it. I'm going to start by reviewing the eyeshadow palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. It has all the shade names listed on the back. And this is a first impressions because I just got it in the mail and I haven't tried it yet. So here's what the palette itself looks like. Super cute. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my eyes with the Courtney Shields Balm on top. And after that, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and this is in light neutral and just apply that on my eyelid. And then I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. So this is going to make sure that there's no discoloration and that you have a nice clean base. After that, I set it with my Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. And I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush and tapping it in. So after that, I'm going to be taking my new Wet n Wild brushes. I absolutely love these. They're really affordable. They're like a dollar to five dollar range and they're super soft and pretty. As you can tell, they have pink little tips on them. So I'm going to be using these for the look today. So I'm opening up the palette and I'm going to show you the inside. I haven't even looked at this yet. Oh wow. Okay. It's super pretty. It comes with a nice full sized mirror. And these are all the shades, lots of vibrant, fun shades. I'm going to be doing a neutral eye with a pop of color. So the first shade I really want to go into is Make Waves right here. And I'm going to be using that as a transition shade. So I'm just tapping this on my crease brush right here. And you can already tell it has good pigment. So I'm going to tap right there and just apply that under the brow bone, not completely in the crease because it's just gonna blend things out better later on, like that. And I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. So after that, I'm going to be going into the shade Zuma Beach right here. And this is gonna be kind of an outer corner color. I just had to blend that a little more, the transition shade. Okay, so now I'm going into Zuma Beach. Same brush, by the way. Tapping off the excess. And we're gonna focus this on the outer corner. Kind of an orangey toned brown. Repeating on the other side. And this looks crazy right now, but it's a work in progress. So I'm going to be taking the Morphe M139 and blending this out. the shade shine on so I'm gonna take it out of my finger and wow look at it it's like a nice coppery metallic shade so I'm just placing that on the lid after that I'm gonna be going into the shade Cali girl I just cleaned off my hand so I can do a new shade so Cali Girl right here. And it's also like a nice metallic -y shade. I'm just placing that on top because it opens it up a lot more. Like that. 
Next, I'm gonna be doing the fun part. This is kind of like the neutral look. It kind of has an orangey tone, which I like, but now we're gonna go in for the blue. So this looks very intimidating, but I think that it'll look nice. So I'm taking Malibu Memories on this flat concealer brush. I like to use these for liner. So I'm taking that on this. And look how blue it already is. So this will be fun. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm actually going to be using an angled brush. This one's by e.l.f. I think this will be easier. I just have to wipe off my black shadow that I used yesterday. So I'm going to be taking the shade Malibu Memories on this angled brush. And it shows up so nicely. I'm going with some more. Now I'm going to flick it out a little bit to make a little bit of a winged effect. Like that. And I'm going to repeat it on the other side. up which is the shiny version of the blue shade I just used and making it shine a little bit so I'm just taking this and pressing it on top <laughs> clean up the under eye and this is why I do my eyeshadow first because you never know how much fallout you're going to get and I don't think this one was bad for the colors like I don't think the amount of fallout was bad at all like I think it's actually performed very well and I'm actually going to be taking some shadow under my eye to smoke out the wing and I'm going to be using the shade surfs up so my eyes are going to look a little crazy until I put mascara on but it's kind of like a trust the process look. So as you can see, I look kind of crazy. So I'm going to put my foundation on. And I will be back to review the lipstick and the highlighter. Now that I've done my base, I'm gonna show you some of the other products I got. This packaging is definitely my favorite. I love this. It's the mirror. So I'm gonna be opening that now and showing it to you guys. Even the inside has little Barbie's face, which is so cute. And it came packaged like this. It's a little doll sized mirror. Well, not doll sized, but. It's a little mirror for your makeup, so I'm gonna be using this the rest of the time. It has a little protective film on it so it didn't get scratched when I got it. But super cute. The packaging for this whole collection is just adorable and I love it. Also, so the next thing I'm gonna be going in with is the highlighter, it's called Beach Party. And the packaging on this is super cute as well with the font and the inside being palm trees. And this is really large, like it's the size of my face. So this is gonna like last me forever. Okay, inside is this marbleized highlighter. It's super pretty. And I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. This is what it looks like on my hand. Super, super pigmented, very pretty. And I'm gonna be taking it on my Park Avenue Princess Tarte Brush. So I'm just going all around so I get all the different shades. And I'm gonna be starting on my cheekbones. That's it. I'm putting on my nose, getting a little more so you guys can really see it. Also my cupid's bow. And then on the other side, 
That has a really nice glow. I also like to place it under my eyebrow, right here on the brow bone. As you can see, it looks really nice. And it's very like soft when you touch it. It's not like one of those like hard powders. It's just very creamy and it has very nice color. And it's very metallic. So overall, I really love this. And the packaging, once again, super cute, nice compact, has a mirror inside. And the next thing I wanna test is the lipstick. So this is the lip kit and this is in Dreamhouse. Super cute, rainbows inside like it has on the outside. And inside it comes with a lip liner and a lipstick. And the lipstick even has a little Barbie on it. So does the lip liner. So I'm gonna be swatching this on my hand for you guys first. And the lip liner is like a nice bright mauve pink. And the lipstick also says Barbie on it when you roll it up. And on my hand, it looks like this. It's definitely a bright color, but it's super pretty for summer. And my lips are super washed out right now, so I need to get some color on them. So I'm gonna be starting with the lip liner. liners because they're super creamy and they just glide on your lips which is always nice you never want to be dragging it across so that's how you know it's a good lip liner now I'm going with the lipstick once again super creamy and glides on nice this is a true Barbie lip color as you can tell and overall I'm really, really happy with everything I purchased. I'm going to be inserting close-ups of the products right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.